I am waiting on so many exciting fragrances, but the mail is taking its sweet time. So what shall we do while we wait for my packages? I have an idea. Let's see what's in here. <laughs> Juliet has a gun. Hmm which you probably already know from the thumbnail, but why is it in my trash? So the reason I own this um, is a few years ago, before I got really into fragrances, I had a sample of Juliet has a gun something. Um, I thought that that was the name of the scent. So I rushed out and I picked it up and I couldn't wait to wear it and I brought it home. I'm, I'm kind of a chaotic shopper in that way. I buy the wrong thing like 27% of the time, but I bought this one and it's, mm, to this day, I can't tell you what I was looking for, which one. Maybe I should go back through the Juliet Has a Gun catalog and see if I can find out what the heck I was looking for. But when I brought home, mm, it definitely wasn't what I had tried and what I was not looking for. So uh, to me, this smelled like um, grape juice. And all I got was grape juice. I did try to wear it. You can see there's a pretty big dent in the bottle there. So I definitely gave it a shot a few times trying to see if I can make it work because I didn't buy fragrances a lot. So I really wanted it to work. Um, but I just kept smelling grape juice. So I put it away. I haven't touched it in years. Um, but lately, as I'm getting more into fragrances and listening to more reviews and um, going online, I am hearing so many positive reviews of this. And it sounds right up my alley when people describe it. You know, they call it a boozy gourmand and, you know, talk about all these notes that I'm thinking, that doesn't sound like grape juice. Um, so maybe the problem is me. So I picked it back out and I'm going to give it another try here today uh, to see if it's more up my alley than maybe it was a few years ago or if my nose now is picking up different notes because your nose does tend to change. Um, I did give it to my husband this morning and say, you know, what are you smelling? And he said, chocolate, uh, which I definitely don't get. And there isn't any chocolate in here, but he still probably is closer than I am with my, with my grape juice thing. So um, I, just to go through the Vagranta notes so you know what's supposed to be in here. Um, powdery, sweet, vanilla, white floral, woody, caramel, tuberose, warm, spicy, and balsamic. So it definitely sounds like something that should really be up my alley. It sounds complex, but sweet with a lot going on, uh, special eventy. So that's why I really think it deserves this 11th hour reprieve here, this second chance. So um, I'm going to spray it now. Not into my face, you see that I am learning. And I'm, it still smells to me like the thing I'm calling grape juice, but it's it's sweet. So maybe that's just my brain connecting it because, and that's what I'm thinking of. You know, maybe a little vanilla too, but you know, old college try with this. And what I'm gonna do is wear it all day see how the dry down is, see what compliments I get, um, see what my husband thinks, you know, a few hours into this and report back on this, whether it's going to be going into my collection or back in the bin. So I will record another one this afternoon and get right back at you with the verdict. No, I'm, I'm sorry, that, that, that's unfair. Okay, come back out. Uh, so final verdict, I've been wearing this about five hours ish. So I think that's a pretty fair amount of time to see how the dry down is, uh, if it comes comes a skin scent, how it projects, it definitely projects. I sprayed a lot of it, um, but it definitely projects as soon as my husband came in the house. Um, he was like, I smell it. <laughs> um, but I did spray a lot for the test, but it projects. So I'll, I'll give that to it. I smell it still on myself. Um, I will say I just... I, I still find it's really not for me. Um, I, it smells like it smells to me and I, I keep picking up that same note. That's just not my favorite. I do think that it's still some, something that um, the sweetness is probably appealing to a lot of people. Um, and it does have a uniqueness. I could pick this one out in a crowd the same way I could pick out some of the other ones I see that are kind of like distinct scents. So it has a character, um, it has a sweetness. So this is for somebody. Uh, it's just not for me. So um, I'm not going to stick it in my bin. That's an exaggeration. I'm going to put it back. 
on the shelf. Either I will try it out again in a few years, see if maybe I come around to it, um, or I might shop this around with some of my loved ones to see if it's more uh, their cup of tea than mine and um, save it from the trash because it, it has some value. It's just not, not a fit for me. If you love it, I love it for you. Um, so that is all for this review of uh, Juliet Has a Gun. Mm. If you like my content and aren't too offended by my opinion there, um, please like and subscribe. I am very interested too in comments. Um, I'm just getting into fragrances. I'm not an expert. So if there are things that you think that um, you'd like me to try or review, please do let me know. I'm really interested in just ordering things. I blind buy all the time and uh, I check them out and I'll give them my, my thoughts. So um, I thank you for watching so much this far. Um, if um, you like fragrance content, I look forward to serving up more <laughs> and uh, take care. Thanks a lot.